Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's late. But we here. Crazy news hit the day. Found this out while I was at the gym. They saying it may be possible that Alicia Baumgartner has popped hot for PDs. Could this be true? Do y'all believe it? I don't know. What's popping? What's going on? I was shocked as well. I was shocked as well. What's popping? What's going on? What's the deal? Listen, I just saw a picture of Alicia Bumgarner when she was probably like 12, 13. She was diesel back then. Inglewood, what's popping? She was diesel back then. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. She looked like a world-class athlete to me. I don't know if she was getting done with a boxing match or a wrestling match, but the girl was cut up, man, as a as a as a young juvenile. So what's popping? I'm trying to get my shit back together before I go get a cut. Oh, I'm ready to get shot. Don't worry about that. But uh, I would hate, I would hate for this to be the situation, but I don't. I, Ah, uh, it's tough. To, I don't know. I don't think she did it, Jay. I'm just saying, Chris. I saw you and Legend Mark earlier. Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> That's my guy. Hey, yo. Someone probably put something in her food or drink. I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 rough for me to believe it, but it's not rough because. In the game right now, it's, it's happening a lot. It's frequent. But she been she been on some shit since she was a girl. So I don't know. And then from her statement, she said she passed two tests before they come back and say that uh, she fell. So this is what I mean by when you when you when you when you get those uh, those urine tests. And you gotta box them up and send them away. You don't know what some, if somebody's tampering with it. You don't know if somebody's tampering with it. You don't know if if it ever even really made it. You don't know if somebody's getting paid off. People do weird shit for money, man. Hey, G, I'm tired of motherfuckers asking me where the best cheesesteaks at. Yeah, you gotta just find you a good spot. I hate when motherfuckers ask me that too, because really I don't even eat cheesesteaks that much. And then it's really just how you get them made. They're saying the lab isn't with Vada. No respect for juices in boxing. She is muscular as fuck. I hate it for it to be true. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. She, someone posted a picture, or maybe she posted it. I don't know. But she was a young girl with muscles. Like, she had muscles when she was like 12. So I don't know, man. And, and like I said, you can't trust, you can't trust these little situations where, like I said, you pissing in the cup, you sending the cup to the other side of the country. You're pissing in the cup, you send it to the other side of the country or the other side of the world, and the shit not, you don't even know if it made it there. Then they saying they running through all these tests, and I mean, could it be something wrong with the test? Could it be something wrong with the machines? Or maybe she did, maybe she did, I don't know. Y'all gotta tell me what y'all really think. They are going to break the belts up and Michaela will have a chance to regain the titles back because the bomb would not rematch her. Yeah, if it ain't Vada, I don't know. It's not 200% accurate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This shit is like crazy. This is crazy. This The whole system, the whole system is just is flawed. Like, I don't... I don't even know how to really feel. She ate some tainted meat. I mean, that would be my argument. I mean, it worked for Canelo. You feel me? If it worked for Canelo, it could work for her. Why not? I think we should wait until all the facts come out. But that's the thing. I don't even trust the facts. You never know these days. We copping please because she a baddie. 
No, it ain't that. It's just like, it's really like you don't know. You really just don't know. It's a lot of, it's a lot of shit with this test shit, man. I, n I never trusted it from the first time I saw how they do it. Cause could it be Bob paying for it to get done like this? Connor Ben. You never know. Like, why is this just popping out now? That's another question. Shit was almost a month ago. I like Alicia, but I'm gonna trust science before her word. She tested positive for two substances, two, not one. Bad streaming. My streaming is bad. Is my is my streaming bad, y'all? I'm a chemist. Testing is difficult at that level. That's that's what I'm saying. My man R. Ellis said he a chemist. And he says that testing is difficult at that level. Raf a what's it say? Raphael? Raphael? That might be your situation, bro. No, I believe Lil says she disputing it with her lawyer. I'm rocking with her. Yeah, it's 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 tough, man. It's tough to believe because, all right, this is machines that y'all pouring piss in. Could it be old piss? Could it be someone else's piss? How much piss did you test that day? You know what I mean? Nah, the stream cool. This is Wi-Fi. Yeah, they said, check your Wi-Fi, cousin. Canelo had receipts for where he ate and they traced it. They had tested the meat, so he was clear. Her situation is very different. Yeah, but we don't know if it was from the meat. Could it have been from the meat? She never tested dirty before. Yeah, but Conor Ben was proven to be innocent. He about to fight. Maybe. It's a lot of money on that side, too. Are they cleaning the machine after every test? That's what I'm saying. So bad about the new, but long was wrong. Yeah. Somebody put something in her water. Anyone caught for PD should be banned. That is true. You got to watch that. That's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a lot going on with these tests. It's a lot going on with these machines. It's a lot going on with these doctors. We don't know what's going on. This shit is crazy. Ain't no reports came out about them testing meat for Canelo. My man said, ain't no reports come out about them testing no meat. Why you make that story up, man? Why is this so late, though? That is a great question. I'm looking for any excuse. I just got off work. When was kind of found innocent? I don't know, man. This that's why you, that's why me. I don't even really look at the news. I don't really well not the local news. I watch the local news, but I don't listen to like reporters and because you just never know. You just never know how you how you test clean and then test positive. That's a great question too. Came back with different results. That's like crazy in itself. <clears throat> Oscar Valdez in the same gym came up dirty for the same thing. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. What's popping? The attic, what's going on? How y'all feeling this night, this evening? I know I'm getting on here super late, y'all. I'm sorry about that. Somebody rub some cream on it. <laughs> we late, late tonight. Yeah, we is. I ain't mean to be jumping on here this late, but I had to handle some business. I like that shirt. Good statement. Appreciate that. It's 8.41 out here in Cali. Damn it, damn sure is. Damn. Cali got the best time, man. Because when you be when you from the East Coast and you be on the uh, West Coast, that should be crazy. What's my number? What? Her situation is definitely shady. It took them one month to come out with the results. Seems sus. Search search it up on Dan Raphael. Spoke on Canelo. Go here and then double back respectfully. All right. <clears throat> no, I think they trying to bag her. I'm rocking with her. What's that in your hand? What's that? What's this? It's that pink lemon. <clears throat> what she popped for leaves your system in five days. She can, she came positive on seven twelve, and 
Oh, no, she came a negative on her test from 715, 716. I thought it was the other way around, but maybe. I mean, we don't know. This shit crazy. Do you think every fighter outside your circle on something? I I don't think every fighter. I just think I think some some fighters are. I think some fighters are and some aren't. Probably a false positive, honestly, due to contamination. When you test for a substance, you run a standard of that chemical that could stay in the machine and show up later. Wow. I work two to ten. These videos be right on time for the nightcap. I appreciate that vet was popping. My guy Vet be showing love, man. I ain't gonna lie. What you think about Charlo with his calm demeanor like that? I like that. Charlotte with the edge. Why you call him Charlotte? And they said the nightcap sus. <laughs> ah! Who's the dude you interviewed earlier? Is he the is he a fighter? He a street fighter, legendary street fighter. She dirty. Hit the like button, y'all. Lewis Rule said, hit that like button, man. Stop being stingy. <laughs> you ever heard of Derek Webster? Yeah. He a fighter. Yeah, he from Jersey. I know Derek Webster. Damn, I hope not. Hannah Gabriels already got caught. Hannah Gabriels got caught? Hannah Gabriels. When? Oh, yeah. Last fight. He trained at my gym. Yeah, yeah. I know Derek Webster. Ask him about Greg Hackett. Hit them likes, man. Appreciate y'all. I think Charlo, he going with the calm demeanor because he did. I don't think he want to get get caught up in the back and forth like uh, Spence did in Crawford. I don't think he wanted the situation to end like that. So I think he taking the humble route to prove that he going to be focused for this fight. We need at least 50 likes. We need at least 50. It's 97 people in here, man. Y'all ain't treating me right. But it's okay. We here. I said I was going to pull up later on, and, I, and I'm here. Yeah, but I'm garner. That thing is hella hot. <laughs> I sparred five rounds with him last week. Tell him I said what's up. Bud said he got 6% to 94. How you feel about that? What you mean 6% 6 to 94? What you mean? For the purse bid Do you, or, or the, or the pay-per-view numbers? Did you see Bud trolling Charlo's demeanor? No, I ain't get to see that yet. You think Charlo's scared of Canelo? I don't think he's scared of him. I think he do respect him, though, but I don't think he's scared of him. I wouldn't use the word scared. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying me. I wouldn't. You know what I mean? I think he's going to be very excited for this fight. They're going to break the belts up, and Michaela will be able to tie us back. Yeah, that might be true. We're going to see what happened, though. She says she's standing 10 toes on it, so... We're going to see what's up. Pay-per-view numbers. They might be true. 6% of millions of dollars is a lot of money. When he was with Top Rank, they gave him 6% of pay-per-view sales. Top Rank pay-per-views, he only got 6 to 8%. Did he even fight in the uh, pay-per-view event with uh, Top Rank? Maybe one, maybe one or two. Six percent of millions of dollars is a lot of money. I think Charlo being humble so he don't end up in a meme if he lose. I think the damage is already done. He said he liked the Al Heyman playing better. That's crazy. Give me 6% of millions, please. Yeah. Why not? Shit. 6% uh, of a million dollars is what? $60,000? So we're going we gonna to times that by however millions? Because we talking about pay-per-views. If you, if you think about it, you're talking about 85. So if you got $85 times whatever, then times whatever millions of dollars that is, that's a lot of money. Porter, Khan, and Postal. Okay. Sean Porter. Okay. The American fight was pre-revealed. Okay. Yes, sir. 60 bands. Yeah, so we talking about a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. And we talking about that's on the back end. We talking about you got your check already from the fight. The check, the fight check was nice. 
And then you get six percent of millions of dollars. Whoa, I'll take that. AG Mel said after he beats Nello's, he's going back. Nello, he going to, he's going back to 154 for Bud. If he pulls off a win against both guys, where would you put him in your mind? I ain't gonna lie, that would make him a bad motherfucker right now. That would put him. He, I mean, he definitely would be number one after beating the Canelo and then beating uh, Bud Crawford. I, like I said before, I don't like to really do the ranking thing, but he would be the baddest motherfucker out right now. What's your thoughts on people saying boots get hit too much? When people say stuff like that about boxers, like if you get getting hit too much is like getting your eyes shut, getting your nose broke, getting your jaw broke. That's getting hit too much. But when people say stuff like that, I'm like... I'm like, so you go to a basketball game and expect the other team not to score? That's like saying that. That's like going to a shootout. Nobody gets shot. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're saying one guy shouldn't get hit. Saying he get hit too much is exaggerating simply because he hasn't been cut. He hasn't had his eye closed. He hasn't had his chin broke up. None of that. Boots versus Conor Ben. I need it. I would love that fight. PBC fighters eating so hard. You see why a lot of other fighters outside PBC be dry with no if factor. They still got side jobs. Damn. Con Porter in 140. Yeah. She too fine to be cheating, man. Yeah, but sanctioning bodies take 3% and paying the trainer and team. Yeah, but that's out of your check. But that motherfucking, that motherfucking pay-per-view, I'm pretty sure it will cover all that. People say pound for pound is an illusion. Do you agree? I think so because the way they do it, the way they do it is fucked up now. It be guys in the pound for pound. Sometimes you don't even, you be like, who the fuck is that? Who you got if Bud and Charlo tap it out? I, if that fight happened, man, I'd be really excited about that. And I don't know. I would, I would have to be watching both camps carefully. You know what I mean? To really get a thorough breakdown. But right now it's a 50-50 fight. Is Boots versus Stanley Owens ever going to happen? It might. It might. I don't know. I hope it do. Do you know how much about... Do you know much about Pritchard Cologne? Mm -hmm. He's come a long way. He's actually doing well today. That's a good topic to speak on for awareness. Pritchard Cologne, yeah, that... <clears throat> what happened to him was crazy. And, um... Yeah, I mean, I hope he is doing better, man, because he got kids, from what I understand. And I know he definitely would love to be aware of what's going on with his children and being able to be there and help, and, you know, things like that. So I hope he definitely get get a lot better to where he's able to walk and talk again. Never Rat deserves to be in pound for pound. Never Rat, a bad motherfucker. Appreciate you making time these lives, man. Make, appreciate your time making these lives, my brother. Appreciate you. Bless up. Salute, Jay. What's going on? Shout out to everybody that's showing love, man. Pat yourself on the back, man. Go in the, go in the kitchen. Pour you a nice drink, man. Sit down and enjoy the show. Let's get it. Charlo's very susceptible, susceptible to left hooks. He keeps his head on the line. Any line? That's true. Could happen. I feel if Charlo wins, he won't get the credit he deserves. No, if you beat Canelo, you'll be one of three to beat Canelo. So he, you got to give him his credit. I think Boo's going through the same thing Crawford went through early in his career. It took Crawford forever to get his credit and always been dominant. Yeah. I told everybody yesterday. Told everybody what? Yo, G, your lives keep me getting through these night shifts. Come look. No problem, man. We here. Get that money. Clock in, clock out. Get that fucking bread. And be the, be all you can be on the job. Fuck it. It's your job. Love it. Have some fun while you're there, though. I'm the type of motherfucker. If you working with me, we ain't going to get the job done. Because I be, I just be wanting to laugh and shit. I be wanting to bullshit. I ain't going to lie. That's why this right here is perfect for me. I'm selling crack through a phone. Would you ever believe some shit like this would be happening? Like, I'm just... I'm sitting here. I'm buying... <clears throat> I'm buying ounces, breaking them down, and I'm selling crack through a phone. This shit is crazy. Whoever thought that we would be here? Salute to G-Hack in the chat, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Eric J, what's poppin'? 
Did you see how Charlo's face was more filled out than previous fights? Well, I mean, he is making higher weight, so he ain't gotta he ain't gotta kill himself to get down. So he is gonna look a little bit more huskier. What's up, coach? What's popping? You know me. We selling dope. We selling dope through the phone. Fuck it. Charlo is very underrated for his killer instinct. If Bud gets in danger against Charlo, he could get finished. Charlo showed this against Harrison and Castano. Crawford can't play with Charlo. No, but I do think Crawford is a better defensive fighter than Tony Harrison and uh, Castano. I feel Canelo has a history of having the judges on his side. I think Mel going to have to clearly outbox him or KO Canelo to win. I definitely don't think he'll knock Canelo out, but he going to definitely have to get the clear win. If Boots do a one-fight deal with Floyd, it would be over. That would be crazy. You got to work, Greg, on the job. Yo, G, you have who you have winning when it comes to Shakur and Tank. I always said this, and I always am going to continue to say it. Shakur and Tank, to me, is 50-50 fight. Um, both have gifts that the other doesn't have or isn't that successful at, but it's a 50-50 fight. Whoever is the sharper man tonight, the smarter man, that's who it's going to. Charlo is the best at rematches, that's true. People are sleeping on Charlo due to <clears throat> due to being under Earl's shadow with being the same trainer, being with the same trainer. Yeah, that could be true. Why is nobody calling for this heavyweight undisputed? Like nobody cares no more since Wilder don't have the belts. I mean, other heavyweights really not that exciting when you compare them to Wilder, to be honest. Wilder is the excitement at heavyweight because of the knockouts. What do you think of Ryan Raymond Muratala? Muratala. I gotta watch him more. I ain't gonna lie. I can't really I don't wanna be weird and give a breakdown that's not true. Canelo can get out box if Charlo is disciplined. I believe that. You rank Wilder top with the food chain in the heavyweight division. He not number one. I think Fury is the best heavyweight in the world, but he definitely number two. Yo G, what you think about Erickson Lubin versus Jesus Ramos? That's gonna be a war. That's gonna be an immediate war. And Lubin gotta be, he gotta be careful in box more. He Lubin got a good fight game, but his defense ain't the best. You think Tank would have to go to body against Shakur? That's the only way I see him winning. Of course he gotta go to the body. He gotta go to the body in any fight. Do you think the Spence Bud rematch is in the works or is it a front? I don't think it's gonna happen. I ain't gonna lie. What's up, Mr. Haggett? The earlier live was great. Keep up the great work, Chief. I appreciate that. Mr. Haggett, you're the man. Been enjoying your content and masterful insight on boxing. I appreciate that. I really do. Keep fucking with me. Because we going, because like I said, when we get to 10K, man, we going to Vegas. We going to have this party. Fuck it. And if he dies, he dies. And I ain't talking about me. If you think Usyk versus Fury going to ever happen, it could happen, but I don't know what the, what's the hold up. I really need to see that fight. <clears throat> One thing Charlo has that not many fighters have is that he is clutch. He has the ability to win rounds in a huge way or in the fight and least expect it. Charlo versus Crawford reminds me of back in the day when they talked about Purnell and Terry Norris. Mm, Purnell was obviously the better boxer, but Norris was good and dangerous, just how Charlo could be to Bud. Charlo being humble right now because that Canelo check about to hit next month. That is true. And that is also a great reason to be humble and stay out of the way. Fury is excitement also. No, I like Fury. I don't, don't get it fucked up. Fury is my favorite. But Wilder is like exciting because you know that shit about to happen. Charlo got to defend the last name from his brother getting slapped. Yeah, that, his brother, he killed me with that one. Hit the like button, best boxing channel. I appreciate that, man. I'm trying. I ain't even really get all the way in my bag yet, but I'm trying to give you all this heat, man. I stay in the kitchen. I'm trying to get all this heat. When Bud retired, do you? What? When Bud? I don't get that. Gee, how did you think the fight would have been if Lomo fought Rigo in his prom? I think Lomo was just too big for Rigo. Rigo Diaz is a small fighter. But in his prime, I think it would have been a better fight. How you think Tank Powers hold up against top 140? 
I think he'll hurt them too. If he Tank got that kind of power though, if he just touch you in your chin, you gonna feel that shit, man. Can Bud become the GOAT? It's possible. What you thinking about Liam Smith versus Eubank 2 coming up soon? I think Eubank can pull it off. Eubank training over there in Omaha now. And also, what you think about his Hitchens versus Zapata? I think Hitchens outboxes him. Outbox him easy. When Bud, I like Zapata, though. He crafty. You know, the thing is about Zapata, he got about, like, three different personalities in the ring. You never know which one you're going to get. When Bud retires, do you think he will he will do UFC because of his wrestling background? I think they have to give him a big check. Russell versus Matias need to happen. I, I, I said that ever since last Saturday. How fast is too fast for an amateur to go pro? It always depends on the fighter. I can't hang tonight. I was late for my miles this morning. I'll listen to the live in the morning when I get my miles in. Punch that lightning. Y'all, good night. Yeah, gang. Appreciate y'all, man. Neighborhood Nurse, I appreciate that. This the only channel to have an OG answer all your questions. Forget 10K. Where the 100K at? Shit. If we get to 100K too fast, I might not be able to get all the questions in. <laughs> No, I fucks with y'all, though. Y'all know what it is. Lubin has a tendency to fade as the fight goes on. That is his downfall. I can agree to that. Boots versus Conor Ben. You already know Conor Ben getting the shit beat out of him. Hey, coach, who are you training that should look out for when they are in action again? Um, Jabril Noble. Uh, Jesse Hart. I got a heavyweight named Dante Selby now. Dante Selby on the end of his career, but we trying to see how far we can take it. I mean, he just got his first knockout with me like two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. So we're going to get it popping. Mr. Hackett, like I said, if you ever in Fresno, Cali, you are more than welcome to break bread with me and my loved ones. Who you got, Benavidez and Andre? I'm very interested in the fight. Benavidez and Andre is going to be one of the best fights I think we've seen in a while. I'm going to keep it real. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's been a long time for Andre to really get a mega fight. And this is, to me, considered a mega fight only because what I believe he can do, what I believe he is made of. At the same time, Benavidez, we already know, is a very exciting fighter. He come to fight every time. He He's not ducking no smoke. He it, It's just going to be an interesting fight because Benavidez bring a lot to the table. You know what I mean? The good hand speed, the power, the pressure. You know what I mean? He, and he ain't scared of nobody, and I like that. But at the same time, Boo Boo is a very awkward, experienced fighter. So it's a lot going to play into this fight. We got a very young man versus a, a, mid, a guy in his mid-30s, and this should be very interesting because we have seen this before. Great fight. How you see Lomo versus Arguello? Really interesting in that feather, featherweight. Lomo versus Alexis I think I just think Lomo is too skilled for a guy like Alexis Arguello. But... Crazy thing is, Alexis Arguello throw a lot of punches, and he could punch. So, I don't know. Arguello would have to tighten up on defense for a fight like that. Tank versus Chavez Sr. at 135 would have been crazy. Yo, that's an insane fight. That's an insane fight. You think Clarissa is kicking Shakur too hard? We're saying Shakur beats everyone. At 135, I mean, he, the kid, you got to remember, first of all, that's her friend. I mean, they've been friends for a long time. S second of all, dude is sharp. Very sharp individual. You know what I mean? And that very well could be true, but we just have to see it. I can't I can't count him out. Snack packs to pay the chinny. Undisputed at 154 and then 168, he'll be top 10 all time. Damn. Got to give it to him. Chat, hit the like button. My my boy GA is giving us the gas right now for sure. Would you take Sugar Ray or Floyd? Woo! Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard, Floyd. Hmm. Sugar Ray, Lee. Sugar Ray Leonard, I think, was a little bit taller than Floyd. Great speed. Sneaky power. Floyd, hell of a master in that ring. Great chess master. B drop of a dime. I mean, everything is there. Both guys, man. But Sugar, I don't know, because I've never seen Sugar Ray in there with somebody who could box that well. And I've never seen Floyd in there with a guy that fast. So 
So that would be interesting. I'm 200 pounds. Wouldn't want to take one of them uppercuts from Tank. <laughs> when Terrence retired, he'll have a lifetime supply of snack packs. Y'all think? Now listen, the, the picture I saw with Bud and, and, and Victor Conti, that was from years ago. And I don't think he was fucking with snack on this fight, was he? How Derek James look at the press conference overall in your opinion? He just, to me, he just looked like he just he took they taking a humble approach. Greg, my mom friend wanna know if she can buy a 20. I don't want me. She gonna have to meet me somewhere. Charlo coming off of that layoff is really concerning. I don't know how rusty he'll be coming in a, <clears throat> coming in fighting a guy as experienced and skilled as Cano. That's true too. That's that's definitely a factor. No, is the guy who sparred Tank in Atlanta. No, they ain't sparring in Atlanta, they sparred in Vegas. Whoever his name is Jabril. <clears throat> Whoever got the snake packs got the edge. Yo, G, you think better be at finish his career undefeated? If he finishes his career undefeated with all the KOs, that would be some shit for sure, Will. I think better be at, it's crazy because I think better be at probably got two more fights before he's done because they, they bullshitting. Nobody want to fight that ball. Do you feel Bud should fight Tim Zoo to take his belt and stay active and fight Mel after his upcoming fight, possible rematch? Listen, I would love to see that fight. I think that would be a great fight. But for some reason, some reason, my mind is telling me at 154 pounds, Bud is going to fight Danny Garcia. I don't know why. Any Joshua's last showing. I I wasn't, I'm not going to say I was impressed. But Anthony Joshua did do some things that I like. He did, he, he did show me some good footwork, good head movement. At times, he did get caught with some jabs, you know what I mean? But I just, it was little shit that I saw. Like, he was trying different shot selection. He was working behind his jab. What do you think boxing will be in the future from a coaching perspective? When we look at today's boxers not having a full understanding of fundamentals and proper technique, I was just about to say, because of that, because the lack of technique and fundamentals, I think it's going to be a lot of dudes getting upset. Getting upset at Pernell Whitaker be both of them. Who are you talking about? Antoine Russell loses to Matias and Regis. Russell beats Lopez and Russell beats Lopez and Taylor. Watch out for Hitchens and Kenneth Sims. Benavidez wins if he fight with if the fight would happen three years ago, I would go with Bubo. Yo G, I'm a big fan from West Philly. We'll love to swing by the gym sometime. No problem, man. Just slide. All I gotta do is hit me up, make sure I'm in there enough. Cause I'll be running around the neighborhood getting, you know, making sure people got their meds and all that. <laughs> Appreciate that, bro. Jab ambition. Get with me. But no, Whitaker better than both of them. Both of who though? Bud is not a cheat. Who you got? Benavidez or Bud? Who's Benavidez? Nah, I don't think that fight happened. Where do you rank Nello all time among Mexican fighters? Hmm, I probably he probably number two. He probably like two or three. I don't know. It's that's tough though. Mexico put out a lot of warriors, man. A lot of bad motherfuckers. I'm with you, Jay. I think Bud versus Danny will happen. That's a good scrap. Would love to see it. That's why, I, for some reason, I could see that. Are you a fan of Marco Antonio Barrera? Yeah, I like Barrera. Barrera was the first man to beat Prince Nassim Hamad, basically with a jab, too. I think Spence underestimated the Taz versus Bud. I do, too. But he's undisciplined outside the ring and taking that long layoff to come back and fight a fast counterpuncher in Crawford. Or just asking for trouble. I believe that. 140 pound, 47 pounders shouldn't be able to go up and just fight at 147 that went to 154. Who are you talking about, though? They need to fight people that's been at 154. Okay, I see what you're saying. Cream will always rise to the top. Fundamentals pay the bills when the skills start to go. That's true. G, what weight class do you think will be the most competitive in the next five years? Next five years, probably still like 135, 140, 154, 147. The weights that's in the middle, because those weights is always stacked. 
If Bud stays active, he should be against Boots. Crawford gets 20 million, Boots gets six at Barclays. Huge fight. All, all of hip hop will be there. That'd be a great fight. Margarito the GOAT. Margarito is a beast, but I wouldn't say the GOAT. Salvador Sanchez is the best Mexican boxer ever. I can't be mad at that. I'm a Chavez fan. Thoughts on Salvador Sanchez. Smart boxer. Smart, slick. You know what I mean? Unpredictable. How would you? He had good movement. How would you see Monzon versus B Hop? Very interesting stylistically. I think, yeah, it is very interesting because Monzon was very active. Um, but Bernard is crafty. So, yeah, that would have been a great fight. Canelo, top five Mexican boxers ever. I, I agree. Floyd Mayweather, defensive master. Pernell Whitaker, defensive wizard. Big G, Mr. Dill. What's popping? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I can't be on here super long tonight, but we're going to get it rocking. You know what I mean? Because I got to go ahead and get some shout out. You see my eyes just starting to turn red. I'm starting to look like a Jamaican boy. What you think about Floyd matching up Carmel? Versus Lee Woods for his professional debut. I think that's a mistake. Could get that kid hurt. Yo, G, I appreciate you for the lives, bro. There's a reason. There's a reason you're a fan. Fave, my guy. Salute to you, fan. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Dog Duval, I appreciate that. Yo, 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 what up? <clears throat> Hold on, let me see. Yo, yo, what up, Coach J? I want to say that Charlo versus Castano was one of my favorite fights. Ever, but Castano is no Canelo. Jamel really should, shouldn't should bang with Canelo. I agree. What you think about Carmel? I like Carmel. Um, tough kid, sharp kid, but I think he's a kid. I and mean, I think they got to let him grow into a man first. I like Danny, but he's not as fast as Bud. Mentally or physically, he'll be there to, to be hit. Yeah, that could happen. Greg, is there any advantage of being the shorter fighter? Yes, it is. You know what I mean? The shorter fighter is harder to hit, believe it or not. You know what I mean? Only only time I see shorter fighters struggle is when they're trying so hard to get inside. When really there's ways inside without even really pressing the issue. I feel like the middleweight division died a bit after Roy Jones and Tony left. Sure, B-Hop was dominant, but so was GDG. But the competition was... So then today it's worse division, I feel like. What you think? I think Bernard's been in there. First of all, Bernard's been in there with plenty of dogs. And compared to now, it's weak only because of all the separation. Greg, right? is there any advantages? I oh, I read that. Is James Tony the best fighter when it comes to transitioning from defense to offense? One of them. Not my baby mama. What you mean, not my baby mama? What do you think of Albert Bell? I ain't seen Albert Bell in a minute. I know he just fought. He got some potential, though, for sure. But he's been around for a while. He needs to make a move. Do you think Spence was 100% against knowing the weight cut was hard for him? I think I think I I don't think Spence was 100% before the fight started. But that's not taken away from Buzz. You know, Spence promised that it would be a one-sided ass whooping. And, you know... It's just he wasn't on the side of the ass whipping. He got his ass whipped. I want to see Stanley on his first boost. Boost will wipe him, though. I, I think that'll be a good fight. Salute GH. Just popping motorsports. I don't think we getting Bud versus Boost. He already said after Spence rematch and Charlo, he probably done. Alicia, for sure. Greg, that all access for what you did is classic. I appreciate that. <laughs> I think Lennox career... Career opposition was overrated. He barely fought anyone in their prime. And any contender who weren't skilled or intelligent enough to make for an interesting challenge. It's some truth to that. I thought I I thought I thought he ain't want no trouble with Tyson, Holyfield, guys like that early on. Mm, I think, yeah, I read that one. Mm, my eyes burning, y'all. I'm starting to see fucking black and white. My eyes cooked right now. That's because I put some work in the gym. Got my man Mark to come down and do the interview. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm here with y'all on the late night. I'm about to start dipping. I got to get up early. Tyson was drugged and the vendor was too old. Yeah, I thought they waited a while for them fights to happen too. 
Hey, listen, y'all, it's been 40 minutes. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the donations. I appreciate the, all of those who tapped in, man. I'm I'm sorry I got to get out of here, but, you know what I mean, I jumped on late. I got to get in the sack. And I appreciate you all. Thank you, Delahoy, a weirdo now, but what you think? Him as a fighter, Delahoy was a great fighter. Can't take it away from me. Did a lot in boxing. Y'all wrong. Tyson dropped WBC about 96 to avoid it. Who was the fight? Holyfield, they thought was dead. Interesting. Peace, Mr. Haggard. Peace, y'all. Get with y'all. Thank you.